Yes, live. Hello, ladies. Good morning or good lunchtime. I'm here with Lynn, and we're going to do a makeup look today and just chat generally, and I'm going to give you a little update on a few <laughs> things. Um, and we're doing a look for wearing burgundy and pink. So when I wear burgundy on its own, you can see that it's a colour that drains me. And sometimes I feel it's great to use makeup that can allow you to wear a colour which is not totally your colour. So in order to wear burgundy, I do wear it with two colours that really bring it alive. One is a kind of bubblegum chaparelli pink, and the other one is oddly a sort of mint greeny blue, because I think that really pops burgundy, especially for spring. Absolutely. Um, and I love it with that kind of weird, actually powder blue and, and burgundy are beautiful together. Um, so we're going to do a look today, which is a little bit of using some of our kind of like strength magician. We thought, did we? Yeah, strength magician. We're thinking to mix in a little bit of Pia, so see what we can do with that. It's a yeah. little too cheek, so see how we can incorporate it with makeup because we have pink tones going on here, yeah. pink tones on our uh, face as well. So see yeah. if we can do maybe a little bit of a nudier version of Pia. Let's exactly, see. because I think that? matching pinks <clears throat> sometimes works for me, but it doesn't always. It depends. Wearing the same color on your lips as you might wear in a dress, I think works for different women. It's a mixture of your skin, hair, and eye combination, but it's equally a mixture of the character of the woman you are. You know what I mean? That's Absolutely. why lipsticks go from just being your skin colors to your emotional state and how you come into a room. Um, so that's the idea. Mm -hmm. And so we're just gonna start with the basics. Yeah, we're um, just going in with the BFF going here. Going with BFF, yes. So just as always, just with your fingers, ladies. And then we've got Sandra, who's running our shop, doing questions, because our questions are appearing on the feed. They're not, so are yeah. questions appearing on the feed yet? Uh, no, yet. Not yes, yet, but yes. they hopefully will, because yes. we've had a few issues around Facebook, and um, we hope we'll get some. So are you just watching it as if you're a viewer? At yes, the I've seen, you are? and okay. people are just saying hello All right. from Toronto, Okay, perfect, Australia. lovely. Mm -hmm. So another little thing, just for you Facebook ladies to know, on Sunday, Shabir is in the house again. And we've got a great topic um, from Shabir, who, as many of you know, is from Victoria Health and is my sort of guru in terms of a pharmacologist who is a supplement king, who we have great conversations about. Our last one before Christmas was the lymphatic system and how you can get your lymphatic system to work really well for you and after um, Christmas, it's an especially important system to be expelling those uh, toxins from our body. So we talked about cleavers, which is a great supplement, which I'm on now, something you go on for two months and then go off. But this Sunday, we're talking about detox of the liver, the kidney, and a third one, not the gallbladder, kidney, liver, and, and something else. What's the other main organ in your body that you want to detox? But all supplements you can take, um, how that process works, taking all your questions, um, some of you might already be on some kind of January detox program. I haven't begun that process yet. I've been focusing on a wardrobe culling and some of you might have been watching. I did a 45 minute video on culling scarves. Might seem a bit obsessive compulsive, but it's worth a view because I think there's certain things in our wardrobe we always collect and we never cull. And that's for me, knickers and bras, socks and tights, handbags, uh, scarves, jewellery, um, and bags. So we're covering all those in January and we'll do a bit of clothes today. But I had said on Instagram I was going to do wardrobe culling this Sunday, but I'll do that in some little stories on Instagram. But our main focus is about wellness with Shabir. So just to let you know what's coming up. Um, yes, so we're doing a little bit of just a little bit of just a touch, little bit just on, a touch. as always. And, and you then, know the other thing in there. And then we're trying a little bit of our concealer right here. So it's a newbie. I know. So we can't fresh. talk so much about it because it mm. doesn't launch till February. But I always like to give you ladies a heads up. And I think when we look at new product development, um, we look at what people are using, what works well, what we feel is lacking. Like there's certain things that I think we need to be developing to get to a stage where we are a 360 brand. So that's obviously Mascara Brow, which is in the pipeline for this spring. And um, we'll be using it today, but you must have shown them the packaging. And then um, we are looking at something for under your eyes, which is um, where an eye cream's had a baby with a concealer. So that's what Lynn's putting on me now. Very soft. Um, um, I just I just love. We have just, the first questions. Yes. Uh, okay. Will you be expanding into more fan wake subs? Yeah, well, I, oddly, I had a meeting today at Phoenix, and we're looking at everything we're doing with them for the spring, and we've got really exciting things we're doing. 
And they have got other stores like in Kingston and Colchester and Bracknell and York. So we're just looking. For us, we are a mainly online brand, but we love our relationship with Fennec. And there are many customers who, you know, can't get to our townhouse appointments and want to experience the products in the flesh and um, don't aren't used so much to buying online. And we don't want those people to miss out on Trini London. So we're talking to them. Pop-ups definitely this year in some of those locations I've mentioned, permanence we'll think about because we gotta grow, we gotta get the right staff. Really important that we get the right people on the stand who, you know, we've had instances where people come to Newcastle or Brent Cross or Bond Street and the customer knows more than our staff because our staff have been working with us for a month and the customer goes, well, what about what Trini said this morning about wigs? And they're like, so that's a learning curve because you're a very, educated customer already when you come in the store which is fantastic but um be patient with the ladies who have joined us and the teams who have joined us who are um who are going to be talking to you through the product but we've got really fun things we're going to be doing in store as well so i'm excited by it and we'll be growing that yes and second question will the new lip to cheek uh, be available soon yes we were going to try and do pre-order today but we got a technical hitch so it might be that we're going to say join the wait list today. Um, we sent it to the Trini Tribe Facebook administrators um, two days ago to, to try, because we just thought we want to start doing stuff with the Trini Tribe. And if you haven't joined the Trini Tribe yet, we are going to be doing tester days with them. We're inviting a few of them in um, for the launch of Lady Jane VB next week, just to come and have a, a little bit of time with us. But we love that tribe of women and you are the strongest advocates of the brand. So um, on Tuesday, it launches both Lady J and VB, and I've done on my Instagram, Facebook, a few little pre's. Uh, we can show you the colors today too. Yes, but um, they are fantastic, and they're our first sort of nudie shades, and nude really depends. When I say the word nude, it goes really for every skin tone. There's one which is more peachy and one which is more apricotty, uh, but they're Fantastic colours. We're having fun with them, aren't we, Lynn? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I know. Love. We love them. Is this one shade that have been missing sort of thing? Yes, exactly. You know, I agree with you. a little bit of a peachy tint to yeah. it. Just perfect. Yeah. So um, I would say that VB is like closer to the relationship of Tashi, but not <clears throat> quite as orangey. And Lady J is sort of like, it's kind of like Eugenie had a baby with Electra and threw in something else. That's maybe a little bit of tashy. Maybe a little bit tashy, yeah. But they are really easy to work shades. And we did, we've done a fantastic film we did earlier in the week with, um, you know, Izzy, who's one of our lovely ladies, and another lady who's who's joined our Trini tribe. We now have 83 women on the Trini tribe. Very exciting, Same. very exciting. We yeah. have here another question. Rebecca is asking yeah. us uh, how to use uh, Pookie. How, how, how to use combat? Pookie. Yeah. Um, Pookie is, a colour that it's a really beautiful, strong, um, strong, I call it Bougainvillea. It's like a kind of pinky red. And I use it, I mean, I, you know, Lynn and I were talking about would I use it with this. That's a very matchy moment. But I basically literally put it on with my finger and, and just put it on like it's a lip glow. And then I just careful at the edges and I do that. But it is such a wonderful depth of colour. And I usually use it as a full on lip. Some people do a wash of Pookie, like a really, you can really wash it out as a shade like that. Um, and you could then make it even like a little bit of blush. So what color have you put on now? Right now we have a little bit of Pia, yeah. but it's, it looks would... very interesting because we just mix it with a little bit of bronzer as well. Yeah. So you ladies know we have Jenstone Soala, so yeah. you just put a little bronzer and then you put that Pia right there. Yeah. So you just mix them all together so it's not too pink. So we don't no. want to overdo it with the pink, you know? Yeah. But we'll see later if we because need Because I'm just thinking, do you want I'm to... just going to take yeah. this, Let's... showing you Pookie because yeah. Because we're queen base, everything goes everywhere. So if I just go here and I just put a dabble Absolutely. of Pookie because it is the shade of my shirt, it's the one place I might be inclined to bring in that pinkiness more. You know, you can wash it out better, Lynn. But do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, I mean, I then have got three colors on my cheeks, but it shows you that everything can kind of go everywhere. They are asking as well, which a saddle can combine with, with Pookie? With, uh, with a what? With a Pookie, with a saddle. Which eyeshadow? Which mm. eyeshadow goes yeah. with Pookie? It well, Pookie is generally given to women who have neutral or cool shade, cool tone skin, um, hair and eye combinations. So 
People who get Pookie in their matching return generally will get things like um, Magician, which is a lovely cool shade we're going to use today, and mm -hmm. Lovers. So you can see those colours with mm -hmm. it. Um, and you can also do, sometimes when I do Pookie, I just do Wisdom, I do a really clean eye, and I focus all the attention on the lip. And I put on more blusher than you might expect, because I don't want the lip, I don't want to be, um, you know, hit by a lip. I want to be wearing the lip and the lip doesn't wear me. And I think that's an important differentiation. She's scrolling down. Yeah, keep going, yeah, keep yeah, going, yes. darling. I just really... And then Lynn would just say, as we're going, what, we're do what are we so doing now, Lynn? What am I, I'm thinking, so we're gonna use two shadows. One, uh, uh, so basically Magician, which yeah. we have here. Yeah. It's a lighter shade and Lovers, which is more of a deeper plummy shade, which yeah. will go perfectly with the outfit. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is to, I'll put the darker shade first, and then on top of that, I'll put the lighter one. So we'll have the depth and definition from the darker one, and a little bit of sparkle and yeah. highlight from Magician, which will work perfectly. I mean, I do it that way around, really? and it's interesting, mm. because I think sometimes if you start, you know, with a uh, lighter shade and then define, I find if I do the dark shade first and put the lighter on top, it washes out any mistakes. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, like, it and you get that easier. nicely blended, luxurious yeah. finish to it, yeah. just amazing. Yeah, somebody this morning on it, so I'm saying about blending. So Lynn is using a brush, and you can use your fingers or a brush. Let me but just show you how you to can use just, it with yeah. the finger. Just, just go for it. Creams are very forgiving. You can just go for it. You can just put it on with your finger. See, it nicely blends. No need to know any techniques. It just does everything for you. Right. You can come in closer if you want. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So the same thing on the other side. And keep firing away with yeah. the questions. We have another question. It says, how can I ask you a more detailed question about beauty products? Well, um, when I do lives on Instagram, I do try to answer detailed questions on beauty products. But when there's a lot of questions coming through, it's quite difficult to get through every question. So I do always suggest that women who are wondering what vitamin C shall I use for my skin tone or what, ret what retinol shall I use, on Trini London, under the Tea Time blog, under the Secret 7, so there's three little clicks you've got to make, you see every single category of skincare and my Secret 7. And I choose those from a mixture of prices, organic or not, sensitivity of skin. So there's always one there for somebody who likes organics. There's always one for there for somebody who has sensitive skin. And there's always one for there for somebody on a budget. And then there's four others. Um, and I do vitamin C, retinol, serums, cleansers, exfoliators, acid toners, enzyme masks, um, everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you've put a little bit on the bottom too, haven't you, mm -hmm. Lynn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a light smoky, what I call daytime smoke. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Just to make it, it all tight, it ties it all together, basically, if you put a little bit of color underneath too. Yeah. So we have Magician on our top and bottom. Yep. And now we're going to go in with, uh, sorry, not Magician. Uh, lovers. Uh, lovers. Yeah. And then we're going in with Magician, just yep. on top. And what I'll do, I'll just put it in the center right here. Just to get that reflection, that nice color. And then we can also blend it into the crease a little bit yep. with your fingers. And then don't worry about mistakes. You can always just use your clean finger and blend it. Again, no need to use a brush. Very simple. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three. Very simple. You can go in closer to share. There we go. All done with the finger. We have another question. Yep. They said, uh, how can we blend Kate properly? Well, let's do Kate. Should we do Kate well, Let's now? do Kate. Yeah, let's so do Kate. Um, Lynn did um, a little bit of bronzer on me, which you know mm -hmm. I don't wear often, but weirdly, I think with the, it was really good you did it when I'm wearing plum. Mm. burgundy because burgundy really drains me so wearing a bit of gents to help but with kate it Let's is our we have two contour shades we have kate and sophia and a lot of people are scared by kate because they look at it and they think oh that's kate. kind of weird i might have one here darling ah, there we go. um they they think that's a kind of you know um there's kate yes mm -hmm. um Perfect. i've got it mixed up there with mm -hmm. a bit of sunlight starlight so it's all a question of you know, with any of our products, getting a tiny bit on your finger and just building it up. So you're going to, sh how are you going to do it? So too? there are two ways, basically. You can yeah. obviously use your finger and you can use a brush. You know, we have brush lovers out there, finger lovers out there, whatever you prefer. So one is a brush, the other one is a finger. I take it on my ring finger usually, just making sure it's not too much product on it. So you just you then, put it onto your hand a bit yeah, first, just yeah. to play with it. Just yeah. to see, you know, how much I got there. And then putting it under the, just in the hollow of your cheekbone just there starting from your hairline just right here and blending it upwards 
And now, now we have a, a little bronzer there, so it'll be easier to blend Kate into it. And then just don't go too far. So just... I always go to the where my eyebrow ends, just as a definition to yes, know. Yes, yes. Or another way to sort of check where your contour is, is this part of your ear. To So there's a line from this part of your ear to the start of your mouth, so sort of thing. Yeah, yeah but so just keeping don't go, in that line, mm -hmm. don't go below or above. Don't go below yeah. or above and don't go too far. No, don't, know, don't go too close to your nose, we don't want yeah. that. Yeah. And it's, now we have a little bit of that natural shadow from Kate. And then another way to do it is just do it with a brush, which is... Show you know, the brush this thing. side because, there you know, I don't use brush often. It's interesting to see. So we're it, taking a small brush and same, same idea, basically. You figure the line and then you blend it into that bronzer, just like that. Very easy. There we go. And it's there with a brush. Beautiful. So either way. Either way. Another question yep. is for Lily. They are asking for your uh, blast. Which one is? Which blush are you wearing? Are you yeah, wearing me. Electra yeah. or which? Uh, it's Shasha. Actually. Are you wearing Shasha? It's yeah. so pretty. Love Coral. Because they are yeah, it's Thank really you. beautiful on you. And Coral is the color of 2000, 2019, yeah. isn't it? So it is. Coral, Coral. There we go. So. Another question. When yeah. they can see the new sales online? Okay. Well, uh, on uh, Tuesday, we're going to be launching um, Lady J and VB, which are our new lips cheek nudes. And then on the 28th of January, we have got Miracle Blur coming back in stock. So if you are on the wait list, fantastic. There are now 3,300 people on that wait list. Mm -hmm. But if you aren't, please go on it because we have, I think, 5,000 units. So the day it releases, a lot will be sold. So you can go on, you can um, register, and we might do pre-orders a couple of days before. Uh, then in February on the 18th, 17th, 18th, we've got this new under eye moment coming out. And then, oh, I keep going now. Then on Mother's Day, we've got some more products coming out. Um, and then in May, June, we have a, another big launch of things. So there's every other month, actually, something quite big coming out. And then we're doing, we're going to introduce to the stack of the month. So our stack this month is all about the skin stack. There's the kind of basic skin stack and mid skin stack. But it's like really getting you to have the most incredible skin and lots of people ask me about what skincare routines I do but half of the reason my skin is a lot better than a few years ago is skincare but half of it is what I put on to give myself a glow to cover up what I want to cover up but not to cover up everything because we want that naturalness of our skin to be breathing and that's what I think whenever I mean, I don't think I ever go up to a woman who's really heavily caked in makeup and go, you look really well. <laughs> um, I might say, that's amazing look. Yeah, but yeah. when I see a woman's skin, even if close up, you think actually she's covered up quite a lot, but the overall appearance is one where her skin is just glowing. I think the um, compliments we get most back uh, from people who've come in here or whatever it's, is they, they, they're halfway through their makeup routine, but they look in the mirror and they go, my skin looks so amazing. And you see them go, God, my skin looks great. And, and it is about that getting getting great skin. So we're focusing, February for us is about getting fantastic skin. Complexion, complexion, complexion. is every, everything. Yeah. Now we're just gonna use the same fear on the lips. Can we do a Miracle, can we do a miracle Blur first? Yeah, just on of my, course. I am obsessed. I don't, I don't do anything now without Miracle Blur. Yeah, so come up to. close and see mm -hmm. those. So that just, I put that on where I have little lines and I pat it in like polyfiller. I know this isn't stop right now, but you can um, you can just go on the waitlist, ladies. But I really want to show you how what a difference it makes. And ladies who might have what we call pebble chin, only the people who have it can say it. It's like you know, you don't say comments about that to other people's skin. But I know that I have it because when we when we just you know have had acne in our teens, that skin can slightly separate. And then if you were to have enlarged pores here, you can put it on, and it will just you know, blur out that pore and give you that really minute pores that we all would love to have in our skin tone. Um, I haven't got my glass on, but have I done the right, Lynn? Let me just... I have yeah. another question yeah. here. Yeah. They said when they can pre-order uh, Lip to Cheek Lady G. Well, I would say today, hopefully, you'll be able to sign up and then on Tuesday. Great. Yeah. It's amazing. You, you can just see it's straight away how it works. It's just magic. I know. It's, it's like, so... I can't be without it now. I have to, every I single know. day I'm using yeah. it. It's crazy. Yeah. All right, let's come okay. back to the lips. So we're doing Pia on yeah. the lips, a little stronger than our cheeks. So what's interesting, it's so yeah. interesting how you're doing it. This is a really nice technique. I love every day, Lynn. I learn from different makeup artists in London what they're doing. So Lynn's using a really big eye shade brush 
to put that product on. Yeah, yeah, because it's fluffy. It will help you to blend out the edges, so you don't no need to worry about those harsh lines when you're putting yeah. with a flat brush. You know, you're just blending it as yeah. you go. And this so is when you're of, doing a wash. This is really interesting yeah. for doing a wash. Yeah. Because then your finger doesn't pick up too much product, yeah. and the brush picks up less. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it's really close to your finger shape, to be honest. This one, so it's like, like a little puffy. Where's it from? Brush. brush. We like that. This brush. one, Zoeva. Zoeva. But lots of brands. I know Real Techniques. They do the similar yeah, brush. They do. Yeah. Uh, like a little little puffer brush. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. So Everyone. easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another question. Linda okay. is asking for some tips and recommendations. She has olive skin, but her under eyes is a bit darker. Uh huh. Uh, which kind of concealer is to use? Well, I would lighter? say the just a touch. Um, if she's got olive skin, she can go into light medium or medium on Match To Me and she can find her just a touch that it's exactly that one. And I always find that if you are somebody who wears BFF as well, which is our under eye, you know, not under eye, it's like our glow. You, I put an extra dot or two if you really feel you have a dark circle before you then put on your just a touch and that combination gives you an incredibly good light reflecting concealer. So she needs to do a Match To Me because we can't see her now, but that would be the advice I'd give you. Um, so what do we think? I'm just looking at this outfit and thinking, yeah. is Pia right for this look? I and think, I'm, I yeah. don't know. But you're going to put Maddie on top. I'm thinking okay. that if we just I think, nudified it a Yeah, tiny we need bit. to nudify it. So mm -hmm. we need to have that hint of the colour from the shirt. But this at the moment to me is... A little bit, a slightly different shade of pink. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? But All if right. we nudify it, let's just try. Yeah. Why don't Great. we try? And then, because when you tried yeah. Pookie, it looked really nice, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so we're just nudifying it a little bit so it becomes... A slightly toned down version of Pookie. Let's see. Let's see if That's we like nice it. That's nice though. I like that. It's yeah. building up. Yeah. See? It's now it's now sitting better on the skin. It's mm -hmm. like we want always to have this relationship of colour, I think. So that's why I tend to... I mean, I'd even be tempted... Would you put a tiny bit of Pookie in there? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Why Let's, not? We're why playing. Not? Let's try. We're playing. We can take more questions right? whilst we experiment. Mm -hmm. Life is about experimenting. Mm -hmm. Another question they said, like, what is the best alternative for Impress? Uh, my C is Love, Brown and Hazel. Um, an alternative for Empress. So we want to do for Empress because Empress is out of stock. Mm -hmm. And you've got olive skin, hazel eyes. And what colour hair? Uh, um, brown. Brown hair. Brown, yeah. I mean, I would say that... This is a weird combo, but I'm going to show you because I think this is a fantastic combo for you. Mm -hmm. um, is, and tell me if you know what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to try one here, which is to take... I mean, you can do one of two things. You could take Emperor, which is our clear... I'm just going to do... Have you got a brush I can do this with? Yeah, sure, sure, So I'm sure. just going to show you. Because this has kind of got that feeling of what Emperor is. So Emperor is a non-shimmery shade like that. It's just a cool brown. Katinka is a lip love, which has got this wonderful 3D pearl, which you can actually put on your um, eyes. So if you take that and you mix it up with um, Emperor, you might have one of these two already. Look at that. And then I'm going to give you Emperor. Just, I mean, Empress, sorry. I'm going to give you Empress. We've got Empress here. I'm now getting very mucky around mm -hmm. with your lovely things. Let me just see. I've got Empress there. We go. there. Empress there. So I'm now going to take Empress clean that brush off so you don't think I'm doing a thing and just show you how those two sit together like that and there's quite a nice relationship there's a little bit more bronziness to the Katinka mixed with Emperor mm -hmm. but there's still that feeling and on your skin tone those two that would be a very nice dupe to That's use in nice. fact I really like the it idea would actually look very nice uh, know, with your it outfit would. now. It would, yeah. it? I know. I'm mm -hmm. just tempted. I'm tempted. Shall we try and put a little bit just, on? Yeah. Should we just do it? Yeah. Should we just do it? Just, do you want we don't just... even need a brush to be okay, honest. Okay, just go, go just... for that. Yeah. It's yeah, a really also nice mix. asking for a burgundy, burgundy red eyeshadow. A burgundy red... Yeah. What? Uh, eyeshadow? Eyeshadow. Yeah. Burgundy red eyeshadow would definitely be strength. I would say if you look at lovers and strengths, lovers is like plum. And strength is like aubergine. And my suit is actually in between the two. Yeah. We're just piling on now. I know. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Just a little bit of that burgundy going on there. But that's kind that's of pretty. pretty there. Yeah. There, that's very nice. Um, um, okay. So where are we at with the lip? What are we just thinking? Just adding a little lip? bit of pookie, mm -hmm. shall we? Yeah. And then we'll see if we need a little bit more on the okay. cheeks. So just getting that fuchsia. Is that wash of fuchsia we want to go for? Yeah. 
They are asking as well when Sha Sha is doing a live. Sha Sha is going to do a live on Tuesday. So on Trini London, she'll do a really great live. And she's going to be talking about Lady... Um, Lady J and VB and how to wear them. We'll have a few models in that she'll be showing it on. So that'll be great. And she'll also be taking any other questions on the brand, but that's usually one o'clock on a Tuesday on Trini London Facebook. Added a little bit of pookie yeah. on your cheeks. I kind of. What are you? Are you feeling yeah, this? Look? I am feeling it. Are yeah? you feeling it? Yeah. 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 Quite summer is pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now would we go? I'm just going to ask you something and put Thea on top. Thea. Yeah. yeah. I mean... What do we think? Let's see. So Thea or Lila, that would make it a little bit more corally. We could we could do cordy if you want. That's a little bit more of a pinky. I so are you we, thinking I'm, Thea? I'm thinking Thea. I just want to try toning down the pink. Ah, uh, so just yeah. Uh, to nudify yeah, but I've bit. got the base now mm. of the color of the shirt, and then I'm nudifying it. Whereas before we were taking Pia, which is a slightly different shade of pink. Mm -hmm. So this is all. I love this practice. Mm -hmm. We'll take the questions. Yeah, just having fun. They're asking as well how they can pre-order. How can they pre-order for um, Lady J and VB? Mm -hmm. Well, I think we have an issue today with pre-order. I want to do pre-order today on those two products, but the issue is as they are in the warehouse, we can't put the pre-order button on. It's easier if we say, we send you a thing saying when it's back in stock or when it's in stock. So we'll know in a couple of hours. So you'll either see a pre-order button go on today or you just wait till Tuesday and they'll be there. There we go. So okay. we have Thea and Maddie here. Yeah. So one will make your lips a little bit more nude or lighter yeah. and the other one will go darker. What are you feeling? Go d going darker or lighter? What do you think? Try going darker. I just want to see Thea on top. Let's, Let's have a look. Let's try. Because I think the joy of lip glows is you can take what is a bright lip, which you might already have in your stack, and you can tweak it somewhere else. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So going with Thea. There we go. Same thing here. Mm. Yeah, I quite like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's muting, mm -hmm. but it's still having that relationship. I think yeah. that's great. Yeah. I think that's lovely, Lynn. Should we do a little bit of mascara now? Yes. But we can't particularly show off. you the packaging. So mm. you have to um, just do like the corner of my eye so you can't mm -hmm. see the packaging. Just and um, the brow too. Lorna, is that yes. if the makeup that you are wearing today, it will suit that long girl? I think doing your skin, hair and eye mm. really helps because... Um, somebody might say I'm blonde, but for us it's really important to know what's your eye colour and what's your skin colour because it's that combination that we can tell you exactly. So if I looked at, you know, the array of blondes, there's, you know, Alex, our blonde here, one of our Trini Trivers, and Alex Wood is a kind of cool tone. She's got a greeny eye and she suits really, so she suits magician, she suits wisdom, she suits fortune, um... She suits, um, what else would Alex wear that we've done on Alex in the past? If she was doing a smoky eye, she might do strengths. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Blummy shakes for blue eyes, perfect. Um, but it could be you're a blonde eye with hazel, you're a blonde with hazel eyes and olive skin. So I'm just awesome. saying, Alex, if you're like Alex, <laughs> um, I wish I had all of them here and I could pop one up, but that's, yeah. Hope that's given some help then, yeah. And look down for me. Okay. Another question, is possible to ship to Hong Kong? Yes, we ship to 68 countries and um, we do ship to Hong Kong and we ship to Australia um, and Australia sometimes they order on a Monday and they get it on a Wednesday so we have a very very quick delivery system. You're awake in Hong Kong right now it must be really late at night here then because my brother's in Australia and that's like he would be asleep by now but Hong Kong is not that far. They are ahead. watching us from Israel as well. They're watching us what? From Israel. Oh, wow. oh Israel fantastic hello. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so at the uh, moment, it's 9pm, yeah. yeah. wow. at the moment, I haven't got my Edie lashes on, you know how much I love her lashes, but I made a decision because we've got this new product coming out that I want to be using it every day and testing it. And so I decided to do tons of castor oil at night and I'm doing lots of stuff to grow my lashes, grow my, even though my lashes, I have to say, um, ED is phenomenal at looking after lashes because my lashes are okay, aren't they? Mm, they are. Um, and the castor oil, the biotin, superior hair, all those things really help. And I think if you do tend to use mascara every day, it's really important to hydrate your lashes. And I think we sometimes forget about hydrating this part of our skin, our neck and our lashes. So castor oil at night, I love. Talika eyelash conditioning gel, I love. So yeah, it's great. Mind. All those things are very important because 
I've met many ladies in their 50s and 60s and they start to have fewer lashes and you kind of want to know that you can really <clears> hold on to your lashes. You might be in your 20s and think, I've got phenomenal lashes. Um, and, you know, we want to keep them. It's about investment into the lash. Absolutely. Yeah. So I've done my, um, I've done threading and I did tint yesterday, so I don't really need an eyebrow, no, do no, I? No, no, no. It looks just fine, especially because we have just such subtle, you know, pink yeah. here going up. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. They I were think... asking about that, the brow product that you use. Yes, using. well, mm -hmm. ladies, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's been approved. It's now a question of production, and that takes about three months. So um, hope uh, it was nice to check in today. I think I've got a lunch now I've got to go to, but this is just a look with Lynn. So just to recap what we've done, Lynn, because it became very complicated and layering, but let's to give you an idea of what we've done. All right, so we have BFF, we have Trinchon. Light medium. Light medium, yeah. we have BFF light medium, Trinchon, a little bit of concealer. So we have uh, bronzer in Genst actually, we tried. Yeah. A little bit of Kate in the hollow of our cheekbones. Yeah. Pookie, and a little bit of Pia. So basically Pia, I would say. Yeah. And then here on the lips, Ooh, it's a lot. Yeah, but we started off with Pia. We started off with Pia, mm -hmm. and then we put a little bit of Maddie on top. Yeah. It was quite nude, but we decided to just play along. And yeah. then we put a little bit of Pookie. It yeah. was too fuchsia, so we toned it down with the um, Thea, which yeah. made the... So basically, we got this result. But I think to get this kind of lip, it would be okay just to put Pia and Thea. Pia it and feels Thea. Like, Pia and Thea yeah, would so give you that, so don't overdo yeah. it, you know? Or Pookie really wash out in Thea, but yeah. Pia and Thea would be the, the best washed out and yeah so effect, you get yeah. a product for your cheeks as well yeah and on our eyes we have strength magician and then we, we just have this really interesting combo the bronzy combo that we did yeah we did which Katinka is emperor em with katinka yeah as an empress dupe for those of you who have run out of empress before it comes back in stock <laughs> lynn thank there you so much My that pleasure. was lovely yeah. and have a wonderful weekend ladies check in on a sunday at 9 30 9 30 or 10 but we'll um we'll trail it uh today on instagram and facebook with Shabir detoxifying our liver and our kidney and everything else. Have a good weekend. Bye.